What is up, ninjas? Kevin David with That Lifestyle Ninja, and today I'm going to reveal the one secret hack that all Facebook ads experts use to create huge social proof for pennies on the dollar. And I mean thousands of likes, thousands of comments, thousands of shares for all of their Facebook ads before they spend money in the expensive USA market. So don't even think about going anywhere. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm in one of my uh, thousands of uh, business manager uh, Facebook accounts. And if we jump into this campaign here, um, we're going to go into an actual ad itself. And so this is uh, just some stuff that me and my buddy are playing around with. We test all types of different ads, uh, which is probably why I get so many ad accounts shut down because we really want to try to push the limits, see what we can get away with, um, and you know, really get the most reach and the most results for the smallest amount of money. So we're going to jump into one of these actual ads uh, themselves. And then if we go over here um, and actually view this Facebook post with comments, uh, what we'll see is um, you know, that it actually has like a fair amount of social proof. So it has 112,000 views, uh, 1.8 thousand likes, which is you know, a, a good amount, um, 207 comments, and 367 shares. So it has a lot of what people call social proof. And so social proof, for those of you who don't know, basically means you know, likes, comments, shares, really just you know, socially proving that other people are interested in this specific subject or topic or whatever this ad is actually you know, discussing. Because uh, I think it was P.T. Barnum that said that nothing draws a crowd quite like a crowd, which is really a beautifully eloquent kind of way of saying that, you know, it's like when you walk down the street and you see a bunch of people staring at something, it's like really hard not to also stare at it. Or if you're on the highway and you see a car crash, everyone's looking at the car crash and it slows down traffic. So everybody is interested if other people are interested. And that is what we're going to play off, guys. It's always good to kind of understand your buyers and, the, you know, the human psyche and things like that. And so what we're going to do is um, in this ad itself, what we see in the URL here is facebook.com, right, slash, uh, and then we see uh, slash post, slash, and then this is what is known as the post ID. So we are going to copy this, you know, we can save it right here, but um, basically all I'm doing is taking this last number right here, pressing copy, um, and then we're going to go back and we're actually going to um, create a new campaign. So we're gonna hop back into Power Editor um, and go to Campaigns, and we're gonna create a campaign. And so we're gonna call this social proof. Um, and the campaign objective, uh, for those of you, so actually, really quick, so the campaign objective for this right here, this campaign, um, if we come in, we can see is reach. So the objective for this original campaign is reach. So this is not traffic, which means that Facebook is not optimizing for people to actually click the link. What they are optimizing for is this to reach the most amount of people, right? So we can make this objective reach, we can make it uh, engagement, and then what we would do on this first round is we would charge, we would uh, target countries like Pakistan, uh, India, uh, the Philippines, just places where likes are incredibly cheap, and so we could build up all the social proof for a very inexpensive price. So that would be the first campaign. Once we've done that, once we've actually built out, you know, all of these views, all of these likes, all of these uh, comments, and all of these shares for a very inexpensive price by targeting cheaper uh, regions or countries, then what we are going to do is like, just like I said, we're gonna grab this post ID and we're going to actually come back and we are going to create a brand new account. So we're gonna create an account and instead of what we had before as reach or you know what we, had, what we would have had as post engagement, what we're going to choose now is either traffic or conversions. And the, okay, so let's explain why you would choose traffic or why you would choose conversions. So if you have a lot of pixel data, um, if you know, you know, if you have, uh, pixel data of people who are purchasing on, for, for example, your Shopify site, or you have um, pixel data, you know, for uh, purchases. Maybe if you have a ClickFunnels page where you have a, a you know, an, a sales page, an order page, and a thank you page. If you have purchase data, which means people are actually seeing your third and final page, your purchase page, right, or your, excuse me, your thank you page, then you would run a conversions campaign with the objective of optimizing for purchases. If you don't have much traffic yet, if you don't have a lot of people actually in your ecosystem system, if you don't have a lot of pixel data, then what we are going to choose for this second campaign, once we have the social proof that we got from our engagement or our reach campaign, for this second campaign, we're just going to choose traffic. And so we're going to call uh, this campaign uh, traffic social proof one. And we're going to call the ad set that and the ad that as well, just because I, I know what I'm doing. So we are now going to go to save to draft. So once we uh, kind of save to draft here, it's going to open up um, our uh, power editor and then we are going to actually start 
to uh, build out this ad set. And so the beauty here, guys, is when we were originally in that first campaign, we were targeting the Philippines, right? We probably weren't expecting to get a lot of sales. You know, if you're selling a digital product that might be a little bit expensive, maybe um, it wouldn't coincide with their cost of living or, you know, it just might be a little bit out of some of their price ranges. Or if you're selling, you know, products that ship to the USA or whatever the case may be. Obviously, I can't address every single thing that you could possibly be Facebook advertising for. But um, what we're going to do now is we are going to treat this as if we are really going to try to get sales now when before our objective was really just getting social proof. So we are going to pick one of our custom audiences here. We're just going to do a lookalike that we built out. Um, uh, we're just going to choose this one, the USA, 1% all leads. Um, and then what we're going to do, we're going to target everyone in the United States, um, just because this is our kind of our first, uh, our first real uh, dive into this. So we don't know necessarily what's going to happen um, from a traffic campaign perspective. Since this is a new objective, we're going to run this for all ages and all men and women. We're just going to see, let the ad data actually, uh, you know, let us kind of hone down. You know, because once you once you let this run with all ages and all men and women, you can really see after like three days or so that maybe men who are 18 to 24. Are are really clicking through for a lot cheaper than maybe women who are 24 to 35 or something like that. And then you can really start to split test and optimize from there. But for now, and just for the sake of, you know, uh, brevity, we're going to just leave this how it is. We're going to enter English as the language, um, detailed targeting. So this specific course is about uh, remote work. So we're going to do Tim Ferriss because he is probably the king of that um, with four hour work week and things like that. So we're going to choose Tim Ferriss here. And we're just going to make sure that we don't need to click anything else. Uh, we don't need to save this audience. Automatic placements is fine for now. Um, and lit clinks, lit clinks, excuse me, link clicks is what we are going to optimize for. Uh, and we can let the bid about be automatic for now. Manual bid impression is a little bit advanced, and um, we don't need to talk about that right now. Um, and we're going to change this to uh, being charged on link clicks rather than impressions because we're really worried about actual traffic. And by traffic, we want actually people to click on our links rather than uh, when it's reach and uh, engagement. We're really going to be charged for impressions, literally just the number of people that we could possibly show it to um, in that specific case. So now that we're done here, we're going to jump up into our last little part, which is the ad itself. And so this is kind of where the old magic happens. So we're going to actually choose um, the Facebook page where the first post originated from. Um, and we are going to, instead of creating an ad here, so we're not going to add a new ad. We're not going to add any images. We're not going to create any comp, uh, copy or anything like that. We're going to go to use existing post. Um, and what we did, remember, uh, this post ID right here, um, we are going to actually go to enter post ID. So we're going to paste in that uh, post ID that we grabbed. Um, and now it, it's not showing the, uh, the ad uh, preview here because I have Adblock Plus installed. So if I was in an incognito window or I disabled that extension, it would show right here. Um, and so one thing that it's saying is this post can't be used on Instagram since it is a Facebook post. And so one last thing we need to do is hop back into the ad set really quickly and go to Edit Placements and remove Instagram as a placement. And so now that we've done that, guys, uh, the last thing we're going to do is just come back and add, make sure everything is all set up here. Um, our Facebook pixel, everything looks good to go. And so now we're good to go and we're going to review draft items and we're going to confirm. And so now what's this, what is this is going to do is it's going to set up our campaign, our ad set, and the third of the third of three is going to be the advert itself. And so now what we have done is we've taken a post that we got a ton of social proof, a ton of comments, likes, shares, views, right, in very cheap markets like the Philippines, Pakistan, India. Those are my three favorite for very cheap engagement. And once we have all that engagement, it gets a lot of other people interested in that post. We're going to take that post ID, which we grabbed from right here, um, and we are going to actually create a brand new campaign, this time with a different objective. This objective that we are going to do is instead of just wanting engagement and likes and things like that, we want traffic. So now Facebook is going to optimize and show our ad to people who are actually more likely to click. When we, have, when we run engagement ads, Facebook is showing our ad to people who are likely to like or comment or share your post but not click your link. It's changing the objective to link uh, to traffic 
actually has Facebook's you know unbelievable amount of data really show your ad only specifically to people who are more likely to click on your link and drive traffic to your site. And so this is when we're going to actually monetize, right? We spend a little bit of money up front, getting people interested. And then when you see an ad on your own feed, think about it in your own life. If you see an ad with one like, you're probably just gonna scroll right over it, even if it's interesting. But if you see one with you know 2,000 likes, a bunch of shares, a bunch of comments, you're saying, wow, well, if all of these other people are interested in it, maybe I would be interested in it too. So it really works, guys. And I do that for all of the ads that I build and all of the pros do this as well. Um, they really wanna try to keep it a secret because nobody wants to kind of share it because it works so well and so I quickly paused the video just to uh, actually get this ad approved um, and now that it is approved I'm going to show you really quick that the campaign we set up traffic social proof one um, is the traffic objective instead of reach instead of engagement right now we are trying to actually convert some sales using Facebook troves of data to actually you know target people who are more likely to click our link rather than targeting people with engagement or reach who would be more likely to actually just like our post or comment on it without actually clicking through or purchasing or converting and so the last thing just because i never like to skip any steps for you guys i like to show you every single piece is we're going to go into the ad itself um, and we are going to check to see um, that the social proof um, from that previous ad that we got super cheap uh, likes and all the you know fun stuff like that from countries like India, Pakistan, and the Philippines is actually here on this brand new campaign. And voila, we see 1.8 thousand likes, 367 shares, 207 comments, and now we are going to actually start converting on this advertisement to get real sales and in the end, make more profit. As always, I will always share the absolute best online tips with you guys. And so if that added value, if you like that, if you enjoyed it, please do me one favor because you know I'm extremely lonely. Click that subscribe button and click the notification bells so you will be up to date on every single video that I release on the absolute best ways in the world to make money on the internet. So I will see all of you guys next time.